So one of the things that I love about the times that we're living in right now is all of the different artificial intelligence tools that we have at our disposal because we can use them to do so many different things. If we want to use it for our day-to-day -day life, maybe to help us plan some sort of a trip, but we can also use it when it comes to helping us earn an additional income stream as well. And that's exactly what I want to show you in today's video. I want to walk you through the steps that I've personally taken myself when it comes to using a specific AI tool, which is Google AI Studio, in combination with some other ones to help me when it comes to earning that additional stream of income. And I do need to say that this video should not be taken as financial advice. I'm not saying that you're going to be able to watch it and instantly start making some sort of money straight away because that's not how things work. You're going to have to put the work into it. You're going to have to understand the concepts when it comes to this particular strategy. Starting a business is always risky, but if you're able to equip yourself with the knowledge and the information, you're going to be able to understand the steps that are necessary for you to take. So just treat this video as a form of education, but I'm sure if you're able to watch it from start to finish, you're going to understand everything that, again, I've been able to do myself. So just to kind of give you a general overview as to how this entire thing works, it all comes down to using artificial intelligence to make some sort of a digital product so that you can put it up there for sale, drive traffic to that digital product, and hopefully be able to get some sort of customers. The good thing about digital products is that it doesn't come with any sort of, you know, labor fees, manufacturing costs, shipping fees. Because you're able to put it up there on the internet for people to buy it if they want to, if you're someone that's working a full-time job or part-time job, you're not really going to have to focus on it too much because whenever a sale is made, the digital product is going to be sent directly to the customer. But don't worry, if you're confused, I'm gonna be taking you through all of the different steps. Now, one of the first steps is to come up with a structured business plan. And the way that I like to do this, if you're new to my channel and you're not aware, is to use this digital product plan builder. It's gonna be able to give me a custom business plan step-by-step -step at the end of it so that I know exactly what I'm doing based on my own situation. So the first question that it's going to ask me is what type of digital product am I most interested in creating? So I've got the option of digital planner, you know, spreadsheet, AI powered educational guide, you know, so on and so forth. But the one that I'm going to select for the purpose of this video is going to be an ebook. Question two is what type of niche do you have knowledge in? As I always say, it's very important that whenever you're thinking about starting some sort of side hustle, you center it around something that you've got some sort of knowledge in more than the common person. So the one that I'm going to select is going to be social media education. Question three is how do I want to sell this digital product? I'm going to say that I want to sell it on my own website because this is going to help me create multiple opportunities when it comes to monetizing, again, in a number of different ways. So I'm going to select this one and then click on next. How much time can you dedicate towards this per week? It's important for you to be honest with yourself because if you say that you can do it full time, but you can't, the plan isn't going to match up with what you're able to do. So in this case, I'm just going to say that I could do it for four to seven hours Per week, I'm gonna click on next. I believe this is the final question. How do you plan to promote it? I'm gonna say that I plan to promote it with short form videos and also SEO blog articles as well. So I'm just gonna select it and then click on submit. And then it should come back with all of this text where all you gotta do is just copy it just like this and then go over to the Google AI Studio. And it's gonna be in here where you just need to paste everything and then click on run. And as you can see, it's already gone straight to work to come back with all of the information that we need when it comes to being able to set all of this up. So this is a crucial step just to kind of provide some clarity for those of you out there that's not really sure of exactly what you need to do. It's going to come back with all of the different domains that you can choose from, you know, all of the different prompts that you need for every single part of this process. Now, let's go straight into one of the first things that you need to do, which is to start the process of building out your site, the site that's going to host your digital product. Most of you right now are probably thinking about Sam, isn't it difficult to build a website? I've got no web experience. I'm not really sure of exactly how to do it. So again, you're gonna be able to refer to the business plan that the Google AI Studio gave you, and it should give you this prompt as you can see right here. And don't forget within the actual quiz itself, it's gonna give you the direct link for you to click into so that you can get taken to the AI website builder. 
So this is the one that I recommend, which is Holstinger. You guys already know, I've been speaking about it for years because I've personally been using it for years. So you're gonna be able to click on claim deal. It's gonna take you over here where it's gonna give you all this information when it comes to all of their different features. One of the main features that I really like is their AI blog generator because with a couple clicks and of course giving it the information, it's gonna be able to generate fully written blog articles that can be ranked on Google. In addition to that, it also comes with this e-commerce section over here where you're gonna be able to get various different e-commerce features, 0% transaction fees and 100 plus payment methods. But let me quickly show you exactly what I'm talking about, right? So if I just click on choose plan, I wanna show you the process of how to build the website and load it with a digital product that you can build using AI. It's important to note that when it comes to selecting a period, you've got the choice of selecting whichever one you want. But when it comes to selecting one of the higher ones, specifically 48 months, that's where you're gonna be able to benefit from all of these discounts. I'm just gonna click on coupon code and I'm just gonna enter this one in and then click on apply. It should then come back with an additional 10% discount on top of the 71% discount. From there, it should now take you to the AI website builder and I've already copied the prompt that the Google AI Studio gave me. So I'm just going to paste it in there just like this. And what you also need to do is decide on a brand name as well. So the one that I'm going to go with is this one over here, which is Influence Hub, because this entire new side hustle that I'm setting up is going to educate people when it comes to social media education. So I'm just gonna copy this one going to come over to Hostinger, paste it in there just like this. And from there, I'm just going to read through it and then click on create a website. Okay, and there we go. The website has now been built. This is what the website looks like right here. You know, it's got all of these different placeholders for all of these different digital products that we can start selling. So, you know, this is basically what it looks like. You know, it's a super simple website. And if you wanted to do something like this yourself, of course you can build it manually, but it will take some time for you to be able to understand what goes into coding a website. So that's the reason why this is really helpful. One good thing that I love about this is that when it comes to publishing blog articles that again can get ranked on Google, you could just come over here to the AI tools section, come over here to AI blog generator. And from here, you're now gonna be able to tell it what type of article you want it to write. And of course, when it comes to coming up with an idea for a blog article, you can just go back over to the AI studio. So I'm just going to copy the first one just like this. Come over to Hostinger. I'm going to paste it in there just like that and then click on create content. And just like that, it's now come back with this fully written article on my website where I'm going to be able to essentially do that over and over again so that I've got multiple different blog articles for my readers to read. Now, this brings me on to a very important point which is what's the point of having the website to begin with? Now, as I said at the start of this video, it's all going to be centered around being able to make and potentially sell a digital product. And the digital product that we're using as an example is an ebook. So I'm just gonna walk you through the steps that goes into making an ebook with the help of AI. And the tool that I personally use is this one over here called Gamma. You guys have been able to benefit from using Gamma because it gives you a fully written ebook super quick. Of course, you're going to have to go through it, make the necessary adjustments, but let me just quickly show you what I would personally do when it comes to making an ebook with the help of the Google AI Studio. So I'm just gonna come back over here. I'm going to find the Gamma prompt and here we go. This is it. So I'm just gonna copy it. I'm gonna go back over to Gamma. I'm going to paste it in here just like this. From there, what I'm gonna do is select document and it's already set to A4, which is the one that I want. I would say that you select the maximum amount of cards if you want to give your reader the maximum amount of value. For now, I'm just gonna leave on eight cards, which is basically like eight pages. From there, I'm going to select generate outline. Gamma is then going to come back with each and every chapter that's going to go into this ebook. So it's super important at this point, you read through the chapters, you know, you make any changes to it. Of course, if you wanna make changes afterwards, you can do that as well. But this is just gonna give you a general outline of what is going to go into the book. So we've got all the chapters right there, we've got the conclusion, and you just need to select the theme or the color scheme of the book. You can click on view more and get some other options. The one that I'm going to select is completely random. Let's pick 
this one over here. I'm going to select theme. Then what I'm going to do is click on generate. And there we go. It's already started writing out the introduction to the ebook and it's going to go through, you know, all of the different chapters. It shouldn't take more than, you know, five minutes, maybe three minutes, depending on how many pages you want the ebook to have. And I do want to emphasize that, yes, even though it's writing out everything, it's inserting all of the different graphics, all of the different images, you know, it's structuring everything. You want to make sure that you don't solely rely on the information within it. You want to wait for it to finish and then go through it, read through it, make all of the changes that you need to make. I just want to emphasize that it's very important that you use AI as a tool to help you rather than solely relying on it. The mistake that so many people make is that they will let Gamma.app make the ebook like what it's doing right now. And they won't even, you know, verify the information to ensure that their potential customers are going to be happy with it. This is something that I tell all my students to avoid because AI is there just to kind of give you the basic foundation and it's now your job to build up on it. But there we go. This is basically what the ebook is going to look like. You know, it looks really good, looks really decent. And if you wanted to do this yourself, it would have taken you a long time for you to know what information to include in it. So once you're happy with it, you've made all the changes. You just got to click on these three dots, come over here to where it says export, and then you're going to be able to now export it as a PDF. But of course, making the ebook is one thing, but you're also going to need an ebook cover. The way that you can do that is by going over to Canva. This is what I use for the majority of all of my different graphic designs. So you can just come onto it just like this. I'm going to type in that I want to make an ebook. Then I'm going to select ebook cover. From here now, I can select the template that I want to choose from. Let me just type in social media and see which ones it has. Okay, so these are different ones that I can choose from. I'm just going to select a random one. Let's select this one over here. Bear in mind, guys, I'm just using this as a example. I'm not saying that I would definitely use this if I was looking to take this serious. So I'm just going to change this to the name of the business that we're looking to build, which is Influencer Hub. And I'm just going to change the name of the ebook to for beginners. And then I'm going to change this to social media, just like that. And from there, I'm going to leave everything else the same. You know, again, it's just an example. So I'm just going to export this ebook cover. Okay, perfect. So that's now done. What you now need to do is just go back over to Hostinger and it's going to be within here that you can now update your store with the ebook that you just made. So what I'm going to do is remove all of these different placeholders. So I need to come over here to manage store. Then what I'm going to do is click on products. And I'm going to select all of these different products and delete them. Then I'm going to click on add product. And the one that I'm going to select out of these different options is, of course, a digital product. And the reason why it's important for you to make the cover of the ebook before you go back onto Hostinger is because you can use this feature where you can upload the image of the ebook cover and hosting is going to be able to automatically fill out all of the information when it comes to the title, the description, subtitle, you know, all of the necessary information. So I'm just going to select this and then I'm just going to select it just like that. And as you can see, it's already creating the text. Okay, perfect. So the details have now been added and I'm going to be able to, you know, upload the actual PDF file in this section right here. As you can see, customers will receive an email with this link to download your files. You of course need to come up with the price of the ebook. You know, for now, I'm just going to set it at $20, but this is going to be completely down to you. And there's going to be some other fields that you might want to enter, you know, categories, but this is all for your benefit when it comes to managing all of the different products that you're going to sell. For now, I'm going to leave it as it is, and I'm just going to click on save. And then I'm going to view the product in my actual store. So I'm just going to go back over to it just like this. And right there, as you can see, the product has now been added. So when someone lands on my homepage, they're scrolling through. It's going to be on the homepage just like this. They can click into it. This is the product page. You know, they're going to be able to add it to their bag. They're going to be able to get information about it. And the reason why I like this method of being able to potentially earn an additional stream of income on top of your nine to five job or your part time job is that you can, you know, produce multiple different ebooks. It's going to take effort for you to do it, but you can now upsell, cross sell various different digital products on one website. 
But for the most part, I would say that those are some of the key things that you need to know when it comes to doing this. Again, there's going to be a level of consistency that's going to be required from you, mainly when it comes to posting blog articles and also utilizing social media platforms as well. The good thing about doing this is that you can do it in your spare time. You know, there's no guarantee that you're going to be able to make money, but as long as you enjoy it, as long as you're selling an educational digital product around something that you're passionate about, it's going to be a lot easier when it comes to you being able to do it as a hobby or if you want to take it serious, you've also got that option as well. I do have more videos coming out on this topic when it comes to a lot of the key things that you need to know when it comes to being able to scale things, being able to, you know, take it a little bit more serious. So be sure to subscribe, hit the bell notification so that you don't miss those future videos. And if you also wanted to watch a recent YouTube video that I made not too long ago where I break down some very important points when it comes to being able to use artificial intelligence in the best way as a complete beginner. I'm gonna leave that video right there. Be sure to watch that straight after this because that video has helped out so many people. I get messages all the time from people that have been able to benefit from it. So I'm sure it can also help you out as well. But other than that, guys, I'll catch you on that next video. Make sure you stay safe out there. Peace.